Today, I'll show you how to crochet this cowl or infinity scarf using scrap yarns. It is a really easy pattern, it's just one row repeat. It also works up super quick. You can whip it up in one day, at most two days. It uses up your scrap yarn, which is great. And if you're making this for someone, I guarantee they're gonna love it. So this size is a single wrap, but if you make it longer this way, it can easily be a double wrap or even longer. And we can also adjust this length as well. I'll show you how as we go along. And as you can see, I did one row per color change, but you can work more rows every time before you change color again. And of course, if you have enough of one color, you can just use that one color and that way you don't have to change color at all. So this is how much yarn I have left. For this result, you want to use a bigger hook than what the yarns call for. So as you can see, I have four colors here. I'm going to work one row per color beginning from the darkest purple. And like I mentioned before, I'm going to use a larger hook. Most of them call for a 4mm, but I'm going to be using a 6mm. So we're going to begin with a slip knot. And then insert your hook. And then you're going to make a chain. So you can chain any number of chains. It doesn't matter if it's an odd number or an even number. And I'm going to make this chain around 25 inches. So now my chain should be, it's a little bit longer, it's almost 26 inches, I've chained 70 chains. That chain number is the circumference here. The more chains you have, the longer the scarf will be. If you want this to be a double wrap, meaning you want to wrap this around your neck twice, you can chain about 50 inches or a bit longer than that. And after that, we need to join this chain in the round, but you need to make sure your chain is not twisted. So just take your time. And then I'm going to insert my hook in the first chain. And then yarn over, make a slip stitch. So just pull through the two loops on the hook. And then you can double check again, making sure it's not twisted. Okay, so now we can begin round one. Currently we're on the first stitch. So I'm going to chain one to begin this round in the same chain, which is the first stitch, yarn over, insert your hook, and pull up a loop. Then yarn over, pull through three. And we just made a half double crochet, and this is the main stitch we're going to be using. I'm going to mark this first stitch. And then in the second chain, we're going to make one more half double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook in that one loop there. Pull up a loop and yarn over, pull through three. And then we're just going to work one half double crochet in each chain. So insert your hook, pull up a loop and then pull through three. So continue working like this. I'll see you at the end of this round.
and the last stitch should be this one. If you're not sure you can always count your stitches, it should be the same as your chain number. So in my case, I chained 70. That means I should have 70 stitches, 70 half double crochets for this round. So this is my first one. From this one to this should be 70 stitches. The next round, we're going to change color. I actually wanted to have a little bit contrast. So I'm going to pick the lighter shade which is this one so to change color I'm going to take out this stitch marker and insert my hook in this stitch and then I'm going to do a slip stitch but because we're going to change color this is where we do it I'm going to put the new thread here and use it to finish this slip stitch. And then I'm going to tie these two ends together to secure it a little bit. So for this round two, we're going to chain one again. So chain one at the beginning of each round. This is the first stitch we slip stitched in. And that's the last stitch. That's the chain one. This is what's really easy about this pattern. Normally you would insert in both loops, but for this pattern, we're going to insert between two stitches, making it a bit easier for beginners. So between the chain one and the first stitch, I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook in that space and work a half double crochet. Again, mark this first stitch. And then work my second half double crochet in the next space. And in the next space, and continue doing this. And your last stitch should be worked in here. This is the last stitch from the last row. Because as you can see, the first stitch of the next row we actually moved it a little bit to the right. So this is the last stitch of the first row, and that is the last stitch of this row. And again, if you're not sure, you can always count your stitches. From this to this should be 70 stitches for me. Um, you don't always have to count your stitches for every row, but we're just doing it for this first few rows to get familiar with the pattern. Um, I forgot to mention this before, you can cut this first color. We're just going to weave them all in at the end. And again, this is where we change color. We're going to do exactly the same thing as before. So insert your hook and get your next color ready. And make a slip stitch. Tie a knot at the back.
and you can cut the previous color as well. Okay, so from the third row, we're just going to repeat row two, chain one at the beginning of the round. Between the chain one and the first stitch, make the first half double crochet. And then one half double in each space, just like before. And the last stitch of row three should be here. And then you're going to do the same thing here, slip stitch and change color at the slip stitch and start working row four. And row four, I'm going to use white. So I'm just going to keep repeating this row and I'll see you back here when I have my desired length. So I worked 20 rows, which is eight inches. So because I ran out of scrap yarn, I'm going to stop here, but you can work more rows if you want. Something like 11 inches would be good. So when you finish your last row, you're just going to insert your hook in the first stitch and slip stitch and chain one cut this yarn and pull through the very last thing to do is weave in the ends turn your work to the wrong side so you're going to need a yarn needle and as you can see i've already done these but i left a few ends to show you how to do it so basically you go through the stitches in the same color of the tail And then you're going to turn to the opposite direction and go through the loops back and forth like this. And then when you finish all that, you turn to the right side and then it's done. You can style it any way you want, but I like something like this. <laughs>